Hi, I'm Jed. I'm one of Axis application engineers. In the early days of CNC machining, the material would be very often held down by a series of clamps, and in some cases would be screwed to the machine bed. This technique is okay, but the parts can very often move at the end of the cutting process. At Axis, we recommend using either a vacuum pump or a blower. This way the material will be held securely in place for the entire cutting process. The distinction between using a pump and a blower will often depend on what material you are cutting. If your material is non-porous, then you would use a pump to create a vacuum to hold the material securely. Whereas if your material is porous, such as packaging foam, then you'd use a blower to pull as much air through the material as possible to hold it still whilst being cut. Both options are fixed underneath the machine and the airflow travels through the sacrificial bed. All Axis machine comes with an aluminium vacuum bed as standard. This allows the vacuum to be spread across the entire process area. At the front of the machine you'll see detail of the different zones on this machine. Each zone can be opened or closed manually or through the auto zone management to suit the size of material that you are cutting. There is also a live deck app which will open and close the zones where the head is cut in. On top of the aluminium vacuum bed we place the sacrificial sheet and as the name suggests this material can be cut into and disposed of whenever necessary. We tend to use general purpose MDF and the reason we use this material is because it's cheap, it's widely available, it has very little wear on your router tools and it is extremely porous which ensures you get a good vacuum hold of your material. You can use almost any thickness of MDF sheet from 4 to 25mm and there are two ways to apply the sheet. The first, you can just lay it directly onto the aluminium vacuum deck and start cutting. But if you need more precision, you can mechanically fix it to the T-slots and then skim the surface. But this can only be done with the thicker MDF sheets. It is possible to hold parts with a small surface area with the right cutting conditions. Both these parts were cut directly on the MDF with no additional help of adhesive or tabs. Naturally, when processing materials, you will mark the surface of the MDF bed, causing vacuum bleed. Therefore, the added bonus of a fixed sacrificial bed means that this can be easily corrected by skimming the surface. Skimming ensures a consistent height through the whole length of the machine, allowing you to minimise the depth of cut and prolonging the life of your sacrificial bed. If you are replacing your sacrificial sheet, then make sure there's no swarf or debris between the aluminium vacuum deck and your MDF sacrificial sheets, as this will cause vacuum bleed. The same can be said when placing material on your bed. If there's anything underneath the sheet, you will not get the hold down that you require. 